What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I've been talking about anime, and I said I was going to be doing anime recommendations, and I have not been able to get around to it until now. Radiant, ladies and gentlemen. First anime I'm going to recommend for y'all to watch. Radiant has been out for about a year now. Second season just started on October 2nd. And I'm going to give y'all a little rundown on this anime and tell y'all why y'all should go watch it. So, you're wondering what this anime is about. In the world of Radiant, monsters called Nemesis fall from the sky. These Nemesis contain everything they touch. People contaminate, I'm sorry, contaminate everything they touch. So anybody could turn, I wouldn't say turn into a monster, but they ended up gaining some special type of powers. People who survive these contacts become cursed, but also gain the ability to wield magical powers known as Fantasia. So just like any other anime, you know, you got your little special power base level, you know, power base, you got Ki and Dragon Balls, and you got Magic and Black Clover, and you got Chakra and Naruto. This is this becoming sorcerers, which are people that are outcasts, just like the X-Men. So picture as the X-Men. Seth, the protagonist of Radiant, who, you know, every shonen has a main character. A teenage boy who has survived the nemesis attack. His dreams of defeating all the nemesis that bring peace between sorcerers and the rest of humanity. To do so, he has to find the place where the nemesis come from, where they originate, and that is called Radiant and Destroy. And he he and other sorcerers travel regions to search for of this magical place called Radiant. While avoiding the inquisitors or quisitors or they're like pretty much sorcerer cops. They're like the police, pretty much. They out here, you know killing sorcerers just because they can so picture it as like modern day life how if you're african-american you know all, all the pr police brutality that's going on picture the sorcerers or the people that's been infected by these nemesis as african-americans and or minorities and picture in inquisitors inquisitors as you know police that's how pretty much the anime is now the main character seth is pretty much the dude the little boy with the horns coming from his head attract retracted from his head and he is you know every main character has a little group that follows him and then this his main people is melly a girl with a spirit per, a split personality she, she has a good side and she has a bad side and i think her angry side is the most strongest because when she fights it's not uh, uh. doc is a research sorcerer that works with seth and melly he has his type of like i guess type of magic is he can shed his skin to where he can go back to be looking like a baby and he'll grow it's just like pretty much shedding his skin pretty much it's kind of weird now alma a woman who is an except experienced sorcerer nemesis hunter she survived the same nemesis attack seth survived from 10 years ago losing her right arm she raised seth and teaches him on control his sorcerer powers although she acts somewhat hostile towards him she's shown to be very caring and greatly knows how to use kindness to people now her backstory is what i'm looking forward to seeing because not just her arm that i'm you know wanting to know how she lost i also want to know how she became who she is you know there's a lot of characters in this anime that i really want to learn about and she is one of them now we're skipping over some people mr grim is just a mysterious guy we don't have much on him just yet dragging off same thing mysterious uh, inquisitor guy there's a lot of these characters that have not been touched upon yet this anime is really good y'all y'all should really give it a watch uh they just finished up one season and they just came back with a second season because seth is trying to figure out his origins because they feel like he came across his brother in the last season in the last season, you came across, you know, your big head honchos, the people that's going to be chasing down Seth and the rest of his crew for the remainder of the series or up to a certain point. And from the last episode I done watched was episode two. Uh, and Dragonoff or Dragonoff, wherever you call him, has went to the, the hideout where they, I guess, they do their, uh, I guess, their rituals or their initiations into the higher class of Inquisitors. And he is there with, I forgot the dude's name. He kind of, I think his name is Yaga. No, I think it's Yaga or something like that. Or, no, nah, not Yaga, because that's the dude that trains Seth. But he's one of the Inquisitors who's really strong. You've seen him in the Battle of Rumble Town, and he was pretty much just OP as hell. You could tell he, he was a problem. But the main thing I wanted to focus on was his brother. His brother, or quote-unquote brother, you got to put air quotes with this, is that we don't really know if they're related or not 
but we can say that he will have some say so in this next upcoming i want to say say so but he might appear in this next upcoming season hopefully he does i want to learn more about these characters and stuff so this manga has been going on for quite a while from what i've done read it's been around since 2013 so you're gonna it has 12 volumes out right now and second season just started so stay locked to this channel because i will be doing reviews on this anime also season four of my hero academia is out as well too so i will be doing that as well also one piece but other than that guys that's all i got for y'all i catch y'all next time peace This road, and I know it's far from flow.